What is going on, everybody? I'm Sigulia Toaster here. And, as you can see in the top right, there's a lot more money than last episode. I had, like, 500000 but I bought a new car. Bought a new car. It is an R35. I can be an actual YouTuber. <laughs> so let's buy... let's buy some parts. Let's buy the regular basic ECU. Let's buy some bulbs and some lug nuts. Let's go for yellow lug nuts. No, 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 no. Didn't I buy yellow for the last build? No, I bought black for that. Oh, great. <sighs> I guess I'll have to put another pair of lug nuts on the CRX. Sorry if I seem a little out of it. It's hot in my room. I can't have the window open or my fan on because it gets loud in here. Let's buy the intercooler for the CRX and the plate mount, plate mount for the R35. And then a hundred shot. Let's see what we let's see what livery we can put on this thing. Oh, I got it. Twenty-five thousand. I'll save that for next episode. Okay, let's buy this stock spoiler. Let's buy the inner cooler. Just basic inner cooler. I don't want to spend that much money. I'll do a motor swap next episode, maybe. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see what happens. Yeah, let's go for some Bozo. Bozo style exhaust. If you don't know what that is, um, I'll link, I'll link a video. I'll link a video on Bozo. To, in the comment section. I mean, not comment section, in the description. It's actually really interesting. Get some three inch spring, no four inch. Yeah, for the R35. It's got a pair of nice rims. Wow, it's lagging. Really bad. Let's get some yellow rims. And then get some blue slicks. Oh, wait. Let's get some yellow text. Tires. Yeah, let's do that. Ooh, these aren't that much more expensive. Idler. Advan dragsters. Alright. And then let's. Oh, I don't want to spend that much money. Even though I've got 204,000. Let's let's do a pair of twin turbos. Uh Let's do the purple honeycombs. And then VX Forge Plus. Let's do a body kit. Let's see what, what wide body. I can't put a wide body kit. Alright, whatever. Let's just put a sticker bomb kit. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Let's, what color do I want the GTR? Let's go for red. Let's go for a maroon, actually. Maroon looks really good in this game. I don't have a pair of seats, so let's go for some racing seats. And I think that's good. Okay. So first of all, let's put the... Oh, I already have a tow hook on it. Whatever. Yeah, I like that one better. Let's go sell the... Let's go sell the plate mount before we do anything to the GTR. Just to get that extra, what, $32 back? Mount slam. Alright, now let's go mess with the GTR. Right now it is. Well, let's do a dyno to see what it is.
that does not sound good. <laughs> not good at all. But 468 horsepower. Um, how much PSI? Negative 3 PSI. 312 pounds of torque. Sorry, I just had to. I had to turn that off. It just didn't sound right. I did buy wrap, so let's, let's put the oil cooler on, the lug nuts, and the light bulb. Let's put light bulbs if it will let me. <laughs> and the stock spoiler, the racing seats, racing seats. Sticker bomb here because why not? It's GPL. Because you can't put one on the back. Whatever. And then maroon. Ooh, that looks real nice. Look at that. That looks really good. Alright, so let's go for rims. I think that looks really good. The, the sticker bomb with the yellow rims and the maroon car. I think it looks just right. The NOS. Oh, when I do the dinos, I don't put NOS in just because, you know, it, it does, you have to push it at a certain time or else it's not going to be correct, you know what I mean? So right now it already says I'm way faster than the CRX. So, yeah. So that's something. But now I'm lower than the CRX with so stronger tires. And the same amount of braking force. Better with the intercooler. And then again, you have to tune the two step to 7,000 because, you know, that, that, that's just what I see as the best launch. And then the intercooler. I did not test this out before I put all these mods on. Wow, okay. Well, whatever. Let's see what this thing can run in the quarter mile. Uh, I honestly don't want to do this. But whatever. Let's let's do the dyno test real quick. It was at 468 horsepower and I think 320 for torque. So let's see what it adds up to. I right, so 1,530 horsepower and 835 foot-pounds of torque. All right, so let's see what it can do in the quarter mile. Is that, a, is that a Crescent? No, that's a R30, I think. Oh, and since this is all-wheel drive, you don't have to do the burnout. Alright, so another thing with all-wheel drive is it's kind of a disadvantage in this game that I quite forgot. It's a huge disadvantage because it like slows down your launch, which isn't that good. Maybe I, I might sell the car, actually. I might sell the R35 or I might keep it for the street racing, you know, the the toge right now I just if you didn't catch that I ran an 8.9 second quarter mile which is pretty decent for a 1500 horsepower all-wheel drive GTR usually the real drill drive ones in real life end up going faster again I'll link another 
video to, I think, 1320. I, I don't know if I will, but thir most likely, most likely I will. 1320, they have a whole video on rear-wheel drive R35s, or is it just GTRs? I don't know, but I'll link that in the video. I'll link that, that down in the description, too. Again, with the Bozo Zoki or whatever it's called. I don't know. I just know it as Bozo, so... Again, it's a kind of car that... It's kind of modification of a car. So, just go watch that down at the bottom. Yeah, see, let me show you the Toge race. Street, Toge, Amateur. Let's do it in Colorado in the sun day. Because it is hot in Southern California where I live, so that's all I can think about right now is the sun. Not complaining or anything. Again, if I didn't explain how the toges work, you see that at the top, the on the right side, that little green thing is disappearing. That's the other person's health. It's kind of a health thing, I guess. The longer you spend in second place, the more that goes down, and once that reaches zero, then you lose the race. Um, yeah, another tip, uh, don't go in front of the other racer, because that, no matter how far behind they are, they'll catch up to you with some kind of draft. The reason I say some kind of draft is because, you know, they're so far back it shouldn't matter. Oh, and an easier way to stop is you bring the gear all the way down. To don't do this in real life, because you will blow your transmission, like, fast. But you drop your gear all the way to first, and then you slam on the brakes, and you'll stop instantly. Instead of just slamming on the brakes, you'll stop like that. Don't do this in real life, only in the game. Because, like I said, in real life, you will blow your transmission fast. If you're in a manual, if you're driving an automatic, I don't think you can do it, but don't try it. Since I have a 2000, let's go see what I can buy for the CRX. That car is... Actually, you know what? I'm going to save that money for next episode. I'm going to buy this C I'm buy this Civic. Either that Civic or this one. Find out in the next episode. And since I'm talking about next episode, why don't I end this episode here? If you like the video, leave a like. If you dislike the video, leave a dislike. Tell me in the comments why you dislike the video. Also, tell me in the comments any questions, comments, or concerns you have for me, the channel, the videos, etc. Um, I plan on reading all your comments since I do not get many comments on my videos. So, if you comment now, you might be able to... It will, you will be able to get a like and a comment back from me if I can comment back. Um, but anyways, hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell icon to get notified when I upload because now I'm in summer break, so uploads are going to be more frequent. And thanks for watching. Stay toasty, my friends.